Welcome to the new episode of the Humpy series. I am Ganesh Nadiger running this channel on YouTube as Goganya. Today I and my fellow rider friends Supreet, Rohan and Nikhil are leaving for Humpy from Hubballi. It is situated some 160 odd kilometers east of Hubballi. I am uploading this series after a year. The actual date of journey tracks back to the first week of January 2021. We have almost reached Humpy now and can see a fine blend of human and natural physical landscape going hand in hand over here. But before we even enter Humpy, let's set the vibrate. But now this clip is not going to be done. As portrayed in this short nostalgic clip, Vijayanagara finds its pride of place in Kannada. And here we are, the capital of Vijayanagara Empire, which flourished from the 14th to 16th century Hampi. We are currently at the southern banks of Tungabhadra river, which you can see on my left and can observe how the place is set on a rocky terrain. ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹಂಪಿ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ರವಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಆರು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಗೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಜಾಬ್ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗೈಡ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಾತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ರಾಯಲ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ಲೋಜರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ರಾಯಲ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬೇದಿಂಗ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೇ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈವೇಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಪೂಲ್ ಸರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವರಾಂಡ The pool is about 6 feet deep and has steps leading down to the water. The water in the pool is believed to have been supplied by an underground channel. Welcome to Pink Mango Restaurant. My name is Rajkumar Kamlapura Hampi. Now we came to Pink Mango Restaurant. I love the style of sitting on the floor and relaxing while we have our lunch. Next we are heading to Mahanavmi Dibba. Mahanavmi Dibba is a grand platform and one of the most prominent and largest structures in the royal enclosure area. The Mahanavmi Dibba is a three-tiered platform made of granite stones. The base of the platform is about 130 by 130 feet and is about 15 feet height. This is the big door excavated by the Archaeological Survey of India. The 
The first tier of the platform has five intricately carved square pillars on each side. The second tier of the platform has four more square pillars on each side. At the top of the platform is a third tier which is the most impressive part of the structure. The chamber is believed to have been used by the kings to watch the grand celebrations and ceremonies that took place on the platform during the Mahanami festival. From the top of the Mahanami Dibba, we can enjoy a breathtaking views of the surrounding area. Visiting the Mahanami Dibba is a must-see attraction in Hampi, especially for those interested in history and architecture. That's Pushkarni. Pushkarni or the step tank was used for religious rituals. It has steps on all four sides that lead down to the water. The tank is made of stone and is surrounded by a parapet wall with a small shrines and pavilions. The tank is believed to have been built in the 15th century and is still in use today. The carvings depict scenes from Hindu mythology and the daily life of people of Vijayanagar Empire. There are also carvings of animals, birds, flowers and all done in exquisite detail. The water in tank is considered sacred and is believed to have healing properties. It is said that taking a dip in the tank can cure various ailments and purify the soul. Next we are seeing this sound producing stones which are located in a small chamber called Akashalinga. To produce the sound, one needs to strike a stone against a surface of the chamber walls. The sound produced is said to resemble that of a metallic gong or a bell. The sound is so loud and clear that it can be heard even from a distance of several meters. The exact scientific explanation for this phenomenon is not known but it is believed that the sound is produced due to a unique acoustic properties of the granite used to construct the chamber. Thank you for watching and I look forward to bring you more stories from Hampi in my next episodes. I hope you enjoyed the journey through this ancient city and gained a greater appreciation for the rich cultural heritage of India.